New month, new game release news. It is October, it is closing in on holiday season, which means a bunch of game releases are coming just right around the corner. And there's already a bunch of big ones coming out this month, so let's get going. First, let's start off with Corwin the Game. This game seems pretty cool. It's got everything, an old school 2D style and uh, fighting against hordes of socialists. Release date was the first, and you can get it on PC. Disposable Heroes. This game is about a gang of nobodies who are the king's last hope when the royal army is slaughtered. I have a soft spot for any games that look like they were drawn with a marker. However, they are such nobodies that I can't even find that much footage for this game, especially through the barrage of Metallica covers. Release date is the first, and it's on PC. 8-Bit Fiesta. Uh, this game is 8-Bit and features local multiplayer in a built-in fucking drinking game. Definitely worth checking out, and maybe even streaming. <laughs> Release date is the first on PC. PC. Holy Chromatic! This is a cute and colorful physics-based arcade shooter. I love modern takes on old arcade classics, and you should too, so check it out. Release date is the second on PC. Pixel Galaxy. This game actually kind of seems like a better looking Agario. The developers push it as a non-shooting shooter, but basically you're just a pixel that can absorb other pixels, which is always fun. I find it graphically pleasing as well. Release date is the second on PC. Super Meat Boy. One of my favorite indie developers is porting one of my favorite indie platformers to current gen PlayStation consoles. Finally. If you haven't played Super Meat Boy and helped him save his beloved Bandage Girl yet, well, you suck. So do it on console now. Release date is the sixth on PS4 and PlayStation Vita. This Guy of Five, Alliance of Vengeance. Revenge, Rebellion, and an Overlord named Void Dark. And cute anime style graphics. There's no reason to not fucking play this game, as well as all of its predecessors. Release date is the sixth on PS4. Rock Band 4. Everyone's favorite social interactive music experience is back. They're continuing the tradition of featuring music from many genres and many eras of rock as well as allowing players to re-download all relevant DLC from their Rock Band libraries. Release date is the 6th on PS4 and Xbone. Darksiders 2 Definitive Edition. Definitive. I said that. Despite the silly creative license used for their Definitive Edition, the franchise is really, really great and I definitely recommend playing it remastered on the PS4 if you haven't already. Release date is the 6th on PS4. The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing Final Cut. Van Helsing's gothic action RPG is back with a Final Cut version. Originally it was a trilogy, now it's one game with a bunch of extras. Release date is the 7th on PC. Afro Samurai 2 Revenge of Kuma Volume 1. This is the first of three volumes, each with their own story, characters, and combat styles. Plus you get original hip-hop soundtrack extras from one of the guys from the Wu-Tang Clan. Release date is the 9th on X-Bone. Masochizia. I have no idea if this game is any good, but it sounds cool. It's about a young man who hallucinates a bunch and finds out he'll grow up to be a violent psychopath if you don't change his fate. Release date is the 9th on PC. Chibi Robot Ziplash. This game is about a chibi robot who uses a plug-in cord as his weapon. It also incorporates amiibo figures. I'm not sure if that's a plus or a deal breaker, but the game seems really cute. This game comes out on the 9th on 3DS. Here's a big one, Uncharted The Nathan Drake Collection. It goes without saying that you need this collection. I need this collection as I've barely played any Uncharted. I feel like such a loser. Release date is the 9th on the PS4. Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth Rising Tide. Continue to build the future of humanity with more options than ever in Rising Tide. Um, that's all I've got on this one. Let's try to be diplomatic. Release date is the 9th on PC. Transformers Devastation. Beat the shit out of Megatron and other Decepticons with instant robot to vehicle capabilities. Need I say more? Yes? Okay, well, it's pretty cell shaded, which looks awesome. Release date is the 6th on PC, PS4, PS3, Xbone, and 360. Dragon Age Inquisition Game of the Year Edition. Someone should send me this. The Game of the Year Edition features the base game as well as the Jaws of Hakon, the Descent, and Trespasser DLC packs. Release date is the 6th on PC, PS4, and Xbone. Sky Hill. This is a really amazing comic book style game that puts you in the shoes of a hotel guest who's having a great time until everything suddenly goes to shit. Grotesque mutants included. You can fortify your penthouse or try to escape. Whatever suits you. Release date is the 6th on Mac, like who cares, and PC. Nobody fucking plays video games on a Mac. Those are for making music and editing videos and trying to look pretentious. Sorry mom and dad, I know you guys are a Mac family. Minecraft Story Mode Episode 1, Order of the Stone. Telltale's episodic Minecraft game. This is going to be huge. Episode 1 is coming out this month and Telltale promises it's as Minecraft as possible. Finally, a Minecraft I'm actually kind of interested in playing. Release date is the 13th on literally everything. Vita and Wii U is TBA though. Back to the Future of the Game, 30th Anniversary. Frankly, I didn't even know this game existed, but it sounds pretty silly and awesome at the same time. This is another Telltale game, and the 30th Anniversary installment is set six months after the events of Part 3. Hilarity ensues, surely. Also, did you know that today, at 4 something p.m., a month from now, they'll be coming to the future. Finally!
Holy. Crazy, huh? Release date is the 13th on PS4, 360, and Xbox. Corpse Party Blood Drive. This is the final installment of Corpse Party. This game allows you to explore Heavenly Host Elementary in full 3D, and all other older 2D sections are recreated in 3D as well. If you played Book of Shadows, you have to play the continuation. Release date is 13th on Vita. The Smurfs! As usual, you want to defeat Gargamel and repair whatever shit he did to Smurf Village because he's insecure about being a human sized with a Smurf sized penis. Except now you get to do it on the 3DS. Release date is the 13th for the 3DS. Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone. More crazy Witcher 3 action with Geralt. This promises to be a 10 hour plus superfluous adventure, so I'm assuming it's worth purchasing. Release date is the 13th on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Yoshi's Woolly World! Ah! Okay, Yoshi, adventuring around, made of yarn and cuteness. Hell yes. Release date is the 16th on Wii U only. And the one I'm most excited about now, Life is Strange Episode 5 Polarized! Ah! I've been waiting for the final installment of Life is Strange for so long. Find out what happens to Max and friends, and if you haven't, check out my Let's Play. Oh! Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Release date is gonna be the 20th of October. Platforms PC, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, and Xbone. Whew, that was a mouthful. That's what she said. Just Dance 2016 and Just Dance Disney Party 2. The Just Dance franchise has two new games coming out this month on the same day. More dancing and some kid-friendly Disney action. Woot, I guess. Release date is the 20th. The platforms are PS3 and 4, Wii U, 360, and Xbone. Disney's only on the Wii U, however. Adventure Time, Finn and Jake Investigations. This game is set around the middle of the sixth season of the Cartoon Network show, puts a lot of emphasis on investigations, and sounds pretty fun. Release date is the 20th on everything and the 3DS. Dragon Ball Z, Extreme Butoden. Yay, more 2D Dragon Ball Z fighting awesomeness, now on a handheld device. This game features the same character-specific movesets and familiar mechanics as others in the franchise. But what else does it have different? You'll have to wait till next time on Dragon Ball Z. Release date is the 20th of the home 3DS. The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. This game looks and feels a lot like a Link Between Worlds. Save a princess and play as multicolored links. Seems pretty awesome, right? Release date the 23rd on 3DS. And last but not least, Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns. The new expansion for Guild Wars 2 will feature a new profession and specializations, as well as new territories, group challenges, and well, a lot of new stuff. Release date is the 23rd on PC. All right, I hope you guys are as pumped for this fucking month in games as I am. Don't forget to post down in the comments what you're gonna buy, what you're hoping to save for, and what you're looking forward to around the holiday season. I love you guys. I will see you guys next month with game release news. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you're enjoying my free content and you want to keep my content flowing, please consider supporting my Patreon campaign. Campaign. Pledge a couple dollars in support of my YouTube and live stream and get some cool exclusive content while you're helping me reach my goals. Link is down in the description. Thank you. Anything helps. Hey guys, I now have a daily upload schedule for my gaming channel. Mondays we have a little bit of random content, which means it could be anything from a stream highlight, PS4 strategy, to, let's say, a gaming vlog, Tara's List, a Why I Love episode. Tuesdays we have an episode of Let's Play with Tara from a recent game. And Wednesdays we have a retro Let's Play episode. Thursdays is Losing My Virginity Day. Friday's another Let's Play with Tara, and Saturday's another retro Let's Play with Tara. And finally, on Sundays, we have another random gaming content day. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash games, and my vlog channel if you like, gratuitous fan service, sex ed, fan mail unboxings, or philosophy. And of course, you can always follow and subscribe to my Twitch TV channel, which is twitch.tv.com slash where you can watch all of the behind the scenes of how I make my YouTube videos, as well as me streaming live content. As always, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.